Hi again everybody. Okay, so I am ready to start the tutorial on the Here's to the Weekend scarf. I'm just going to show you how to make these cute, this cute little design feature with these holes across the scarf, okay? This is really easy. So if you're a beginner, just sit back and learn along with me. Okay, I'm going to try to do this you know, kind of slowly at first so you can see it, but I promise you this is no big deal. Okay, so what you're gonna do throughout the scarf, it's basically knit six rows, and then you're gonna do a design feature. Knit six rows, design feature. Okay, so I've knit six, so now we're gonna do the design. We have 10 stitches on the needle, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so now let's go ahead. We're gonna knit the first stitch. We knit the first and last stitch on this row. So let's get the first one. There you go. All right, so the next thing you want to do, the next thing you want to do is just yarn over. You're gonna bring that yarn to the front of your needle, okay? So you knit your first stitch. Now, hopefully you can see this, take your yarn and just bring it like that, like you're going to purl, except we're not going to purl. So you have your yarn in front. The next thing you will do is slip the stitch as if to knit. So you're gonna go in like you're gonna knit it Right, but you're not going to just slip it off the needle. And there you go. So you have it like this. So this is still here. And you've slipped this stitch. Now knit the next stitch. So your yarn is still here. So go ahead and knit that. All right, so look at this. Now you want to pass the slip stitched over. So you have this, you want the stitch that's underneath this one. So you actually want this one here. So if you've, if you have ever binded it off, you've done this. Get under there with your needle and pass it over. Bam. Okay, let's try this again. Hopefully you can see this. Yarn over. Okay, go in as if you're going to knit, but do not, just slip it right off. Still have this yarn here, still in front. Knit your next stitch. Get this one. Okay, we don't want this one, we wanna pass the stitch that you slipped, pass that over. <gasps> Woo! Nothing to it, let's do it again. Yarn over. Slip your stitch. So go in like you're gonna knit, but just slip it off. You still have your yarn here. Knit the next stitch. Okay, and so you have this one. It looks like it's on top of it. Get the one underneath, That's the, because that's the one you slipped. And you wanna pass the slip stitch over, just like you're binding off. Let's do it one more time. Yarn over. Slip your stitch, boop, knit your next stitch. And then find that slip stitch right there. Pass it over and then knit your last stitch. <gasps> Look, there is nothing to it. So I'm gonna get to the next row. It's just a regular knit row. You're just going to knit everything. We still have 10, oops, on here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Perfect. So now we're just going to knit this next row. Okay, so I just wanted to point this out. Okay, everybody who's making the scarf should know how to do the knit stitch, of course. But when you get to some of these, they might feel a little bit funny to you at first. But don't worry. So like this one. Right, so you can kind of see. That's not the regular way you would knit, but just do it. <laughs> that, that is how we're making this design feature. I've got a yarn bowl here in my, there we go, let me get my. So we're just gonna knit 
this one. And again, you know, this might feel a little funny to you, but just go ahead and do it because it's going to get normal again. So you're going to knit six rows just of the knit stitch and then we'll get to the design row again. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to knit five more rows and then we're going to do another row of the design just in case you need a little more practice, okay? So just one second, let me go ahead and knit and I will be right back. All right, everyone, I just knit the next uh, six rows. This is just garter stitch. That means knit every row. I'm back to the design row. I just wanted to do it again, you know, just in case, um, you know, you wanted to follow along um, just a little bit, you know, just a little bit longer to sort of get the hang of this. Okay, so remember we have 10 stitches on here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. For this scarf, you should always have 10 stitches on your needle. Okay, so regardless of whether you are on the design row or not, it doesn't matter. So make sure, you know, you count those um, on each row. And so let's see here. So this is our design row. So the first thing we're going to do, what is that? We're just going to knit the first stitch. So go ahead and knit your first stitch. Now let's go in for our design. So remember, I'm going to take our yarn. Here's your yarn. You're going to yarn over. You're just going to put it in front of the needle. And then you're going to slip your stitch. Go in as if you're going to knit, but don't knit the stitch. Just slip it off. And remember, your yarn will be here. It's okay. It's okay. You're going to knit the next stitch. Go ahead and do that. And then you're going to get that slip stitch. Okay, the one that you slipped over. Pull that, just like you're binding off. Okay, remember, if you have binded off, you can do this. If you've purled, you can do this. And even if you haven't, I think you can <laughs> figure this out. Okay, so let's pull, let's put our yarn at the front. Yarn over. Okay, so I just yarned over. Yarn over. Slip your stitch as if you are knitting. But you're not knitting, you're just slipping it. And here's this. Let's knit the next one. Okay, and then we're going to find that slip stitch. Boop, let's go ahead and pull that over. Yes. Okay, what do we do next? What are we doing next? We're going to yarn over, go in as if we're going to knit, but just slip that stitch. Okay. Let's knit the next one and let's ooh, look at that. Okay, so what you're going to do, what are you going to do? You're going to move this over, find this, the stitch that you slipped and pass it over. Just one more. Yarn over, slip the stitch. Okay, knit the next one. And then you're going to try to find, here's the one we slipped. So let's pass the slip, st slipped stitch over and knit our last one. So now what do we have? Let's look and make sure we've got 10 stitches on this needle. Let's look and see here. Sorry, I'm trying to keep this in front of the camera. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woohoo! All right, you're on your way. So then after this, what are you going to do? You're going to knit six rows. Then you're going to do the design feature again. That's it. And like I said earlier, you can make this um, as long or as short as you want. I do recommend if you're using the Lion brand hometown like I did, um, I'd get I'd go ahead and get two skeins of that yarn because if you want to make a regular length scarf that's what you're going to need but that is how you make the how you knit the design row on my here's to the weekend scarf so um if you know anyone who would be interested in this send them on over to my website thatchedroofcottage.com and have them grab this um pattern as well and i'm glad that um 
you have grabbed the pattern, and if you haven't, if you're just watching this, go ahead and grab that, thatchedroofcottage.com. Here's to the weekend scarf. Thank you so much for watching, and happy knitting to you all.